Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and today we're going to be running a sample of little tiny electric motors and transformers through our scrap line. And this behind me is our 24 by 16 HD hammer mill. It currently has about a half inch by four inch long slot in it, and it's run with a 30 horse three phase electric motor. The material is going to discharge down onto this conveyor belt, which is going to carry it all up under to a cross belt magnet. This will pull out the steel fraction, anything magnetic, down into here. The non-ferrous and non-magnetics are going to go up through a zigzag. This is designed to be hooked up to an air classification system, but today we're not going to run it for the customer, for the customer specification. And then the non-ferrous is going to fall down into the wooden box there. So let's go take a look at the sample we're going to run. So here's the sample we're going to be running today, and these are little tiny transformers, little electric motors. As you can see, they have plastic and little metal and steel in with a bunch of copper, which is, for this customer, the valuable, the valuable material we're going to try and recover. So we'll run this through a hammer mill and show you guys how it works. Okay, so here's the sample after we ran it through the scrap line. And I wanted to show you the two fractions. This is, we'll start with the copper fraction, or the non-ferrous fraction. And this is everything that went under the magnet. And I didn't run the vacuum because it would have sucked up these little tiny hair wires here that we wanted to catch. And because those are so light and have so much surface area, those would go up the, the vacuum and something like this big piece of plastic would not, it'd fall down through. So with this sample, because the non-ferrous was so light and uh, it had so much surface area, we couldn't separate very well by, by just using the vacuum. This is the steel fraction here. And it had pretty good separation. Every once in a while, there's a little piece like this that still had some copper wrapped up in it. But the interesting thing about this sample is because there's no large steel in it, large shafts or big pieces of steel, you could actually get away with running a smaller slot or maybe even a, a hole and you probably liberate more copper. We had the half inch slot, that's all we had at the time, so I'd even say a three eighths or maybe even a quarter inch slot and you liberate pretty much all the copper at that point. And today we're gonna to run a test for a customer through the scrap line. This is some metal shavings from his machine shop and it's a bunch of cast iron shavings mixed in with some brass and a little bit of stainless. And we're gonna run it through the hammer mill to break it all up, run it, under the uh, mag belt to pull all the magnetics out and then we'll get the non-ferrous out the end. This is another sample we're going to run and these are some larger turnings and stuff. This is all mild steel and then stainless and it's all rat nested together so we're going to try and put that stuff down the hammer mill as well see if we can break it up enough to separate the ferrous and non-ferrous and uh, we'll see what we get. We're going to be running our material down the 24 by 16 hammer mill it has a half inch by three and a half inch slot in the screen. I'm going to come out onto this discharge conveyor, go up under the magnetic cross belt here. All the magnetics are going to come out there. And the non ferrous is going to come out here down through our zigzag, which we won't be running. That's for uh, dust collection and uh, another recycling process. But the non ferrous will end up in that bucket.
results of our uh, cast iron and brass shavings. This is all the magnetic stuff here that got pulled out. Here's the clean non-ferrous. And you can see it's mostly brass, a little bit of stainless in there. But we actually ran this through the magnet a second time and didn't get any further magnetics out of it. So it, this stuff came really pretty clean. So here's the results from our blue trash can full of turnings and it's a little bit harder to tell with this stuff because it's more fresh but this is all the magnetics and then over here in this bin is all the clean stainless turnings and again we ran this through a half inch screen and that may be a little bit too big. You may want to go three eighths. You may want to do like a quarter inch punch plate hole. But uh, the idea is pretty sound, separating the, the magnetic turnings uh, from the non-magnetic. So. All right guys, so here's the steel fraction from the pre-shred motors. So let's take a look at this stuff and then we'll go take a look at the finished copper product. Here's all the motor plates and the transformer plates that went through the one inch screen. And you can see it's, it's pretty darn clean. All right, we got our pre-shred copper in this bin. It's about four feet tall, four feet wide and uh, three feet across this way. And it's about half full, I would say. And so you guys can get an idea. There was a little bit of cast aluminum in there, like on uh, motor plates and stuff and, and end caps of motors. So there's a little bit of cast aluminum in there that if you're being a little bit more picky about it, you can make sure those get picked out. 
for a number two copper product, I think this is pretty good. We ran 3,000 pounds of this stuff in uh, an hour and 10 minutes. So you're looking at 2,500 pounds or 3,000 pounds an hour. Here's our steel fraction. And we've got uh, somewhere around 8,000 pounds of steel here. But you can see it came really nice and clean. There's very, very little copper in there. 